oh, wow, it's a brand new racing series, video series on my channel. Oh, boy, I hope I don't forget to upload to it like I have to other video series on my channel. Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the Hidden Gems of Racing series. We all know about our Formula One, NASCAR, and IndyCar races. We all know what those are. But this series is dedicated to races and racing series that are hidden from the public eye. Um, this first race that we're going to be talking about in this episode is kind of perfect for that in my eyes. It was streamed live on YouTube back in 2019. I was one of the like 12 people who watched it on YouTube live. Um, but the video is still up for people to enjoy and it still has less than a thousand views on it. It has about 850, so I'm hoping that you guys go watch it. Oh, what's that? There's a link in the description that points you out to the race. Yes! But hold on, don't click it yet because I need to explain some stuff before you actually get there. So that way you understand what's going on. I mean, unless you want to watch the full like hour of pre-race, I mean, I'll leave that up to you. It's a two and a half hour long video, so, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to spend your time on. This race is the championship deciding race for the China GT4 series. It happens at Shanghai International Raceway, or Speedway, what, what do they call it? It happens at Shanghai International, uh, the racetrack that they have down there. I think they use it for the Formula One cars, but I'm not too familiar with it. Before we get too far into it, I kind of want to explain GT racing to those of you who might not know too much about what GT racing is. So if you know a lot about GT racing and you know what, I'm, what you're, if you know your stuff, go ahead and skip to this point in the video so that way you don't have to listen to me explain this. But for those of you who do know, or for those of you who don't know, Go ahead and stick around for about a minute or two and I'll go ahead and explain some things about GT racing so that way you can understand what's happening. This type of GT race is one hour long, so that essentially means that they don't count, they don't, they don't set a number of laps, they set a time. So what happens is, you know, they'll run around during this time, you know, for an hour. Once the clock hits zero, the next time the leader crosses the start-finish line, the race ends. And that's it. All these cars are pretty similar on pace. But what you'll notice is that some of them are better in the corners, but not so good on the straights. Some are really good on the straights, but not so good at the corners. It all just depends on how the car has been set up and what they're really good at. Another thing that you'll notice is that these cars each have two drivers in them. Well, mostly. Um, but I'll go ahead and explain that in just a second. So these cars have two drivers in them. They will switch off about halfway through the race, and for those of them who don't have two drivers, who just have one driver, um, well, they have an advantage, clearly, right? Wrong. In these pit stops, they have a set time limit that they have to stay in pit lane. So that way there's no rush to switch out drivers, that way there's enough safety protocol. Because what they try to avoid is drivers just getting in the car and then doing their seatbelts as they're driving away. So they have a set time limit of like maybe two minutes to, you know, get the driver, first driver out, put the next driver in, change any tires and put fuel in, whatever they need to do. But there's no rush behind it. It's we're all in the same time frame. All right. Now that we've got that explained, let's go ahead and talk about the race itself. OK, like I said before, this is the championship deciding race for the GT4 championship over in China. Now, because it's over in China, I'm probably going to butcher a lot of the names here. I'm just going to say them how the announcer said their names. Um, so bear with me, correct me if I'm wrong, but understand that I'm trying my best here. So before any of you want to leave to go watch the race in its entirety so that we don't get spoiled by this video, go ahead and stick around for a little bit longer. I'll go ahead and let you know when to click off. There are four drivers in three cars fighting for this championship. Now, two of them share the same car, and they are in the lead. Alex Fontana and Chris Chia, both in the number five Mercedes. They both share first spot in the championship, and because they're in the same car, if they win the championship, they both get kind of championship credit. However, in second place, Rainy Her in the number six Mercedes, he shares his car with uh, Yang Shi. Yang Shi is not in the championship fight, therefore it would just be up to Rainy Her to win. Same with Will Bamber, who's third in points. He shares a car with Quilco Shen in the number 22 Mercedes. 
So they both kind of have a little bit of a different strategy to how their race goes. So Alex Fontana and Chris Chia, they are both in the lead. They're both in the same car, so we'll just count them as kind of one contender of the championship. Rainey Hearn, the number six Mercedes, is second. He has to win the race, and the number five Mercedes has to finish fourth or lower in order for Rainey Hearn to win the championship. Will Bamber, in third position in the championship, is also in a must-win situation with the number five Mercedes finishing sixth or lower, and Rainey Hur finishing fourth or lower. The starting order of this race, we have Liu Wei and Ilmari Kopivara in the number three Mercedes. They are starting in first place. Alex Fontana and Chris Chia, the number one position of the championship in the number five Mercedes, starts second place. Now an interesting thing to note, they have 50 kilograms of success ballast. What does that mean? That means that their car has extra weight added onto it because they had won a previous race if I remember right, that's the reason why they have the success ballast on. Um, but that'll come into play later. We've got Rainey Hur and Yang Shi in the number six Mercedes, starting in third position. Will Bamber, Quil Kuo Shen in the number 22 Mercedes, starting fourth. So you can see that they are actually starting kind of in their respective championship order, um, second, third, and fourth. We've got some other people uh, in the race as well. There's 16 cars in total. Some of the other contenders include Kenneth Lim and Sai Ming Tao in the number 49 McLaren. They are over in fifth position. Wang Hao. This is the first of the cars that have only one driver uh, in the number 999 BMW. Uh, we've got some other cars including Senan Fielding starting 13th in the 55 Janetta. We've got Dominic Ang and Anthony Chen in the number 12 Lotus um, starting in 15th. But overall, they're all going to play some part in this race, which is pretty interesting to see. So now that we have all that out of the way, now that we all understand what's happening, for those of you who want to go watch the race, go ahead and go watch the race. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. So go ahead, go down in the description, click on the race link and watch it there. But for those of you who just want to see what happens in the race and maybe you know get it spoiled for you and then go watch it, go ahead and stick around. I'll go ahead and explain what happens. Okay, I think that they're all gone. Hopefully they are, because if not, then they're going to get some big spoilers. Okay, so the green flag drops, the race begins, the timer starts. And what we have is Alex Fontana passing Liu Wei for first position, so Liu Wei ends up falling back into second pretty quickly. Alex Fontana in the number five Mercedes moves up to first. So already championship leaders are are in the lead of the race, which is not good for Rainy Her or Will Bamber. We also see some other cars moving up pretty quickly through the field, including Senan Fielding in the number 55 Janetta, moving from 13th all the way up to third within just a couple laps. Ross Gunn, who started back in ninth in the, in the number 618 Aston Martin, he also fights his way up from ninth to fourth. Um, so we have some pretty good battles leading through these first few laps. We have some pretty clean first laps. Nobody spins out, nobody makes any contact. And it seems like it's going to be just a pretty good race of just good, clean racing. However, that doesn't last as long. About 10 minutes into the race, Sen and Fielding, while fighting with Liu Wei for second place, makes contact and we have this incident do that. Liu Wei goes defensive, but that compromises his exit. And I wonder if that might mean Senan Fielding can get on the inside of this long left-hander. And he has done, and they bang wheels, and Senan Fielding is out. Senan Fielding, they bang wheels, and Liu Wei spins as well. Now, Senan Fielding, I'm almost certain, is out of the race, because you can see his left rear tyre. It looks as if he's broken the suspension there, because that tyre is not at a very happy angle at all. You can see it pointing to the inside, and Senan Fielding, I think, opening his door there to get out of his car. Bitter disappointment for Senan Fielding. There he is, the British driver, out of the race. The number three car, Liu Wei. I don't know if he's got damage as well or if he's simply stalled his car. I should think we may have to have a safety car now. Unfortunately for Senan Fielding, he ends up out of the race. The left rear suspension completely broken, meaning that a car that could have easily contended for the win was now out. Uh, Liu Wei also ends up going to the very back of the field after that spin. 
So going from first to pretty much last, it was not a good start for Liu Wei or um, Ilmari Kopivara. So safety car is out. Ross Gunn ends up second place after all of that. Uh, he was the one who started back in ninth. We've also got Quilco Shen in fifth place. He's the one who shares the car with Will Bamber, the number 22 Mercedes. They're the third place in championship. And Yang Shi in sixth. He's the one who shares the car, the number six Mercedes, with Rainy Her, who are second in points. I know, a lot of numbers to try to keep track of, but trust me, it'll all come down to it at the end. So the green flag flies again after a quick cleanup, and they're off racing again. Some really good battles end up happening on track, as is expected. This track actually does provide some really great racing for these GT cars. You see that there are plenty of passes being made, plenty of really good close racing. Um, and after some time, the pit window opens up. Now the pit window in this race lasts from 35 minutes to go to 25 minutes to go. So it's a 10 minute pit window in the middle of the race. Alex Fontana and Ross Gunn stay out um, in first and second place. They're within just about a second of each other. So they stay out because they are the more experienced drivers of the two. However, we have Quil Koshen and Yang Shi pitting pretty much immediately as the pit window opens. So around 34 minutes to go in the race, they pit and switch to their other drivers, the ones who are fighting for the championship, Will Bamber and Rainy Her. Will Bamber ends up ahead of Rainy Her after the pit stop. Ilmari Kopivara ends up getting a penalty for a pit violation, which takes their day from just bad to even worse. And once the pit window closes, we have Alex Fontana and Ross Gunn coming into pit within just a second of each other. So still managing to stay right within each other, right within range of each other the entire way through, which was really cool to see. So they switch over to their uh, respective drivers. Alex Fontana switches over to Chris Chia. Ross Gunn switches over to David Pun. So the pit window ends and we see Will Bamber in the number 22 Mercedes making his way through the field, coming into third pretty quickly and closing on David Pun in the number 618 Aston Martin for second place. With 20 minutes in the race to go, Will Bamber passes David Pun for second place but just a little bit afterwards, we have this incident. So that was a little tougher for Will Bamber than maybe he would have liked. David Punt using the advantage of the toe down on that long back straight to edge back past Will Bamber. Oh, and a big crash, a big crash. That is, uh, that is the 999 BMW of Wang Hao, and that is one of the Mercedes. I can't tell which one that is. It might be the number three of Ilmari Kopivara. That is down at the turn 14 heaven. Let's see. Here's a replay now. Oh, and that looks like a car failure there. Oh, and that's a big impact for Wang Hao. And uh, the Mercedes there, a completely innocent bystander. That is the number six car. That is Rainy Her. And very good to see Wang Hao getting out of that car there. So Wang Hao and Rainy Her crash really heavily at the fast part of the track at the end of the back stretch. Uh, Rainy, uh, no, Wang Hao suffering a suspension failure in the right front his BMW spearing off and then backing into the passenger door of Rainy Her. Uh, so the th second place contender in the championship is out of the race and out of the championship fight. Both drivers are okay, but are shaken up pretty badly. Wang Hao, you can see, walks away, but pretty winded after that incident, which makes sense. It was a really, bit, really big hit. Rainy Her ends up being stretchered off, but he is all right. They just did that for precautionary measures, which, you know, I think we can all appreciate as racing fans. Safety of the drivers, number one. So with this big incident, the safety car comes out and the question of whether or not the race will actually restart is posed. All the carbon fiber shards strewn all over the track there, and it's going to take a long time to clear all that away, I wonder if actually we'll get any more running at all this morning. So we know that we have Chris Chia leading in front of Will Bamber, so first and second, if it ends like this, then obviously Chris Chia and Alex Fontana end up winning the championship and the race. So the safety car is out for a while, they clean up the track, they try their best to get it started, 
and the announcement's made. I'm delighted to be able to say that the safety car is coming in this lap. So we've got three minutes, we'll have uh, probably two laps of racing. So the race restarts with three minutes left, which is about two laps worth of racing. And remember that 50 kilograms of success ballast that the number five Mercedes has? Well, under normal circumstances, it wouldn't have been much of a problem. But under a restart, when everybody's behind you and you're a little bit slower at pretty much everywhere on the track because of that ballast, this is going to get interesting. So the green flag flies, David Punn and Charlie Fagg both pass Will Bamber and Chris Chia before the start-finish line, prompting the stewards to investigate that. So because of this, Chris Chia ends up getting into fourth, but Will Bamber actually manages to pass both David Punn and Charlie Fagg really quickly within just another couple corners to take over first position, which means that now this championship fight has just increased dramatically in the intensity. Kenneth Lim in the number 49 McLaren ends up crashing, but because he ends up off the track, they can keep the race green, uh, so there's no safety car, he manages to get out of the car just fine. But while all this is happening, Chris Chia ends up getting passed for fifth, and Will Bamber is still in the lead, so that means that Chris Chia cannot lose another position, or else they will lose the championship. Will Bamber passes the start-finish line to start the final lap, pulling away from second and third. Dominic Ang, in sixth place, catches up to Chris Chia. Dominic Ang and Chris Chia are both squabbling over this position. Chris Chia cannot lose this position to Dominic Ang, or else the championship will be lost. Ilmari Kopivara ends up spinning out, making their day from bad to worse to just... I, I can't even... that's just awful for them. But the big battle continues between Dominic Ang and Chris Chia, all the way until the corner just before the backstretch. Dominic Ang ends up getting past Chris Chia on the backstretch. Um, Chris Chia tries to catch up to Dominic Ang on the backstretch, trying to get a slipstream. And into one of the final corners, just after the backstretch, Chris Chia tries to dive bomb Dominic Ang into the hairpin, but can't do it, and finishes in sixth place. Which means that... Will Bamber might actually end up winning this championship from what seemed to be an almost impossible third place in points. However, the stewards reach their decision just as the cars cross the line. David Punn and Charlie Fagg both get a 30 second time penalty for jumping the restart. Dong Liang in second place and David Punn in third place have been given a 30 second time penalty for overtaking before the control line. So, by my reckoning, that means that Chris Chia has finished in third position or in fourth place, yes. Chris Chia, the timing screens have just updated. Chris Chia and Alex Fontana are the GT4 series champions. They finished in fourth position. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Stewart's decisions and that they should let them race, but admittedly, David Punn and Charlie Fagg both did pass well before the start-finish line, so that was a pretty cut-and-dry decision. But, you have to wonder, if they didn't get penalized, or if they didn't jump the restart, how would this race and how would this championship have ended? Either way, Will Bamber wins the race, but Alex Fontana and Chris Chia end up moving up to fourth, and they win the championship due to that decision. Go ahead and suggest any racing series or races that you think are hidden gems of racing in the comments down below, so that way I can take a look at them and I can make a video on those as well. Hopefully this series continues, and I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Also, be sure to watch that race in its entirety, because it's such a good one. I think that everybody should watch it uh, if you enjoyed this video explaining it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here. Hopefully I'll see you guys in another video in the future, hopefully sooner rather than later. Alright, take care!